Yo, what's good everybody? Uh, so today I got a new video for y'all. I know I've been slacking on the videos. I've been so busy with work and life. But uh, today we're about to be blacking out the badges on my Mustangs. Y'all can see, I already got started with this side. Uh, so I already I broke this one. But that's the original 5.0 badge, as you can see, it's chrome. I'll show y'all the other side. That's the, that's what it originally looked like. It's chrome with the red in the middle. And uh, since I'm going with like a black and red theme on this car, um, I wanted to black out the badges on the side. I'm also gonna get uh, the grill that's straight through with no pony on it. And so I can see I also broke these badges too. Just fucking up, but I took the badges off the back. I got a black GT badge coming in. That's gonna take the place of uh, the chrome one that was on here before. So, small steps. I know I'm liking them content. I really ain't been doing much to my car, man. I've just been so busy lately. But I promise I'm gonna bring y'all content, man. But, uh, so, this is what the new badge look like. So I can see it's matte black 5.0. And it's gonna go right there. Looks way better than the chrome that was there. Uh, really, will set off the black and red look of the car. And uh, I also should have my new front grill coming in soon. So I'll bring a video on when I do that. And my GT badges should be coming in soon too for the back, so I'm gonna do a video on that. But right now, we're putting this on. So right now, my problem is this adhesive. I already took the badge off with this right here and I covered it in tape so that it didn't fuck my paint up too much. But this adhesive, man, <laughs> some tough adhesive. This is strong adhesive, bro, so. Got my glue going right here. And uh, what I've been doing is just trying to coat it in glue going. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is just coat it in glue going. I'm gonna put it on this towel right here. And I'm gonna coat the towel in glue going and just lay it on there and let it sit for a couple minutes. And then uh, after I let it sit, I'm gonna use this and try and take the rest of this adhesive off, so. I'll let y'all know how that goes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, put the glue gun on the towel and uh, lay it across there real quick. I'm trying to do this <laughs> while showing y'all. I got one hand. <laughs> so I got the glue gun on the towel. Let's go ahead, rub it on there like that. I don't wanna like pour the glue gun glue all over my paint. I don't really know what it'll do to my paint, feel me? Already got some on here, and I hope this don't start peeling. But just lay the glue going across it like this. See, as y'all can already see, it's already peeling some of the first layer of it back. Sorry for my voice, man. I'm kind of going through it right now. My allergies. <laughs> but just rub it across there, and um, let that sit for a little bit. So I let that sit for a minute. So I'm gonna attempt to get this off of here. I don't really want to record at the same time while I'm doing this. I want to be very careful that I don't touch anything surrounding this tape. So I'm gonna let y'all know what it look like after I get done. So uh, <laughs> that adhesive was a little stronger than I thought. So I went and got a blow dryer, and blow some heat on it. And it should come right off after that. Man, I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes trying to take this adhesive off, man. 30 minutes later, we almost done, man. Just gotta get this last little bit off and then we can put the badge on. All right, the next side, I'm gonna make sure I heat it up first on. So gotta go through this, bro, cause man. It's, it's, it's literally been like a good 40, 30 minutes. And uh, I finally got all the adhesive off, so now I'm gonna stick the badge here in between this tape and hope that it lines up and hope that I don't put it on crooked. So I'll let y'all know what it looks like after I get done putting it on. So I got the first badge on there. Let me know how y'all think that look. I think that looks way better than the chrome one. So now I'm gonna get the other side. The other side should be a lot easier. I'm just gonna heat it up <laughs> this time and uh, it should just come off real quick and easy. So. Let y'all know when I get to the other. 
turn the car around. I'm about to get started on this uh, side. I couldn't keep the car the other way because my wall plug is right there and I couldn't reach it around. So I just turned the car around. So I'm about to get started on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape around and all that. And then uh, we'll get started. I, went, I ended up going to AutoZone and picking up this panel tool uh, removal set. Uh, so it'd be a lot better for me to use this than using that uh, other thing I was using. So I'm gonna use these to try and pry it off of there. I'm gonna keep applying some heat to it because I didn't finish applying it. I got this side taped up. What I'm about to do now is apply the heat to it so that hopefully, not like the other side, I can get the adhesive off real quick by just pulling off the badge. Um, and most of the adhesive will come off. And um, yeah, so. I'm about to sit here and apply that heat for a minute and I'll uh, get back to y'all once I'm ready to peel it off. That one came off a lot easier, but we still have a ton of adhesive behind it. So I'm trying to heat it up right now, get it hot, and then hopefully I can just roll it on off of the panel. We got a 5.0 badge right there. Uh, just use the body tool, took it right off of there. So now I'm just heating this up. I'm gonna see if I can just roll it off. Hopefully I can just get this as heat, as heat off real easy. I don't wanna have to struggle with it like I did with the other side. But uh, we're gonna see. I just found out something. This stuff right here takes this adhesive off super fast. I wish I would've knew. Uh, it's this never dull, uh, it's like a polish, a wadding polish. This is what it looks like right here. Uh, it comes with these little like cotton things, I don't know. But you just take some, take a piece of it, and you just rub it across. And bro, it literally takes the adhesive off super quick, super fast. Um, so I would guarantee this if you're looking to take some adhesive off like really quick. Got the other side done. Yeah, let me know how that's looking in the comments. Black with the red on there. Looks way better than the chrome in my opinion. Here's the other side. Yes, sir. Now let me know how y'all think that look. Not done with the video yet. I'm gonna take this off real quick because under it is black. And then uh, I got a black horse coming in. So once I get the black horse in and my black GT badge in, I'll do a video on those too, but I'm gonna take this off for right now just so I don't have no chrome on here because I hate chrome, bro. I don't know about y'all, but I hate chrome. <laughs> I don't fuck with chrome. Like that's old to me. Like that should be on like old cars, but that's on there sticking good. Looks dope in my opinion. Y'all also let me know what y'all should, should I keep the uh, 302 on the side or should I take this off? Y'all let me know what y'all think I should do with that. I've been debating on whether I should keep that or if I should just go clean and take that off. But y'all let me know what y'all think I should do with that. Not done with the video yet. I'm gonna get to y'all when I start taking off this badge right here, so. Sorry, I forgot to record. Um, but this is what it looked like so far. So I see I took the, the chrome badge off the front. But this looked kind of ugly. Honestly, I thought it was gonna look a little better than this, but I do have a black horse coming in. So that's gonna be straight. Eventually I'm gonna change this whole grill. I'm thinking about getting the Cervini grill and the Cervini grill is just straight through and it has the fangs, but there's like no honeycomb in the middle. Uh, and then I'm gonna get the black the piano black to match the bottom so that it's not this weird faux whatever plastic black that is getting a new splitter probably get some new side skirts definitely gonna lower the car definitely gonna get some new wheels um i, I know i got these wheels i just wanted these wheels because i hated the wheels that it came with originally but i'm gonna also get some other wheels probably get some 370 305s in the back 375 um then i got my black GT badge coming in too. That should be here later this week. So I'm gonna put that in. And uh, yeah, man. After that, we're gonna get to performance mods. Um, I do have to fix my exhaust. I, I might do it, I don't know how I'm feeling right now, but y'all can see this one is like leaning over to this, like, to this side, just like this one is. And uh, I think it's loose. So I'm gonna try and fix that. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today. But yeah, man, quick little video. 
it was quick for y'all. It's been like, I've been out here for like two hours trying to put these badges on. But uh, we got them on, they look good. So yeah, it's been like two hours. I've been out here for like two hours trying to, just, just for the adhesive, bro. It's literally just been the adhesive. The adhesive was, man, the adhesive was crazy trying to get that off, but we're all good. First little uh, cosmetic upgrade to my car other than the wheels. So, yo, what's up, y'all? I know I'm in different clothes. It probably look completely different. It just changed out of nowhere. Uh, so pretty much, uh, I'm gonna let y'all know why I haven't uploaded. So the vi the beginning of this video is me putting on my side badges. Um, and then after that, I took my car in for service and my tranny pretty much went out on me. I had to get a new torque converter and I had to get a new input shaft and because of the worldwide shortage on parts, it was hard to get my parts. So it took a, like probably a month and a half to two months where I didn't have my car at all. So that's why I haven't been uploading at all. I know I haven't uploaded nothing, but we back to it. So new fit, my hair probably looked bigger. I don't know what looked different than the last time I recorded like two months ago. But today what we are doing, we are going to be putting this black horse badge on the car pretty much uh if y'all know maybe y'all don't i had a chrome horse badge on here and i think i showed it in the last video but i just popped that out of there and this is what it looks like i don't really like the way that looks it's like a shell an outside shell and that kind of looks kind of like raggedy but uh oh i didn't y'all didn't see what y'all didn't see was the gt badge so while i was on break from my car i did get my gt badge and i just put it in there but I need to put some glue on there because it's not really holding like that. But I did get my black GT badge. Now let me know if y'all like that. You know what I'm saying? So we did get the black GT badge on there. So I can see we do have the black 5.0 badges on there. The next thing to do is to take, what is this? Oh, that's just dirt. All right, next thing to do <laughs> is to take this 302 badge off. I don't like this. A lot of people confuse it with a Boss 302, and that is not what it is. This is a regular Mustang 5.0, 2018, or 2015 and up. They did not make Boss 302s. So for any of y'all that may see me on the road if I still got this on, no, I do not have a Boss 302. Stop asking me if I have a Boss 302. It does not exist in this model year on S550. But I am going to take that 302 badge off. I don't know if I'm going to do that today. But today what we are doing is we are going to put this black badge on my grill and uh it's not as easy peasy as y'all might think everything with this car is pretty difficult man if you want to change the bumper or if you want to change this grill right here or that lower grill it's not as easy as the old ones where you can just pop it out of there this whole bumper the under tray everything has to come off bro everything has to come off this whole front bumper has to come off just to change this grill like it's not easy doing shit on this car man so for me to have popped this out I had to unbolt my radiator and move it back just to reach my hand down there and be able to pop those out. But for this one, so I can see, it does have the holes in place, right? But I have to snap these on the back. The weird thing about these is it's hard for me to get my hand back there. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to snap those in place. Now, on a video I seen on CJ's Pony Parts, shout out to CJ's Pony Parts. Please sponsor me if y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see my video, whatever, whatever. Uh, they took this hinge off. My problem that I'm having is that I found a bit for it, right? Take the bit. It goes on there, right? There's a problem. Y'all see how fucking long? Y'all see how long that nut is? That motherfucker long as hell. And I put this on there. It's sticking literally out the back of that motherfucker. I can't even put the, the screw on that bitch. So, what I'm going to have to do is figure out a way to unscrew this. Which, you know, I know y'all talking about, y'all probably in the comments like, Bro, get a wrench. Get a wrench. I ain't dumb. I'm going to get a wrench, okay? I'm just letting y'all know what I'm going through right now, alright? So, I'm going to go grab a wrench. But first, before I do that, because I'm just distracting myself. I'm going all over the place right now. What we going to do... So we're gonna pop this on here. Okay. And we're gonna unscrew this. 
I got the wrong. I got the wrong. I got the wrong size. Hold on. Excuse me. I don't know which one of them is metric. One of them is inches. Something like that, man. I ain't, I ain't really do the best in math. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was a C average student. Nope, that's too big. So I think we had it right the first time. Hey, man, y'all work with me, man. Please don't be roasting me in the comments. All right. I found it. I found it. All right. We found it. Success. So uh, since I can't sit here and record while I'm unscrewing this and moving all this, I will get back to y'all once I have unscrewed it and moved it. So we got this moving. That's going to help me get my hand back there. It's so hot, bro. I don't know if y'all see. I'm sweating. It is so hot outside right now. It's got to be like 90-something degrees, but it feel like 110. But I'm going to get a wrench so I can take this screw off, man, because this the simplest shit is still hard to do. Be the simplest shit. I got to find a wrench in this motherfucker. Where my wrench is at? Where the fuck my wrench is at? Yeah, jackpot. Found the stash, found the stash. Let's get it. I didn't record the whole process because I needed both of my hands for this. I had to move this. I had to take this out. As you can see, I ain't screwed that back in yet. But I finally got it on. How that looking? I finally got my badge on there. Feel me, it's on there nice and tight. Looking much cleaner with the all black. So now we all blacked out. Black front, we got the black side, black wheels, and we got the black badge on the back. We all blacked out now. We all gravy, just like I want it to be. Now, I don't know, I might take this off real quick. I figure out how to take this off without messing my paint up because I don't want this 302 on the side. Some of y'all might think that's cool or something. I don't I don't like it. I like a clean look. I just like having a clean body. I don't really like things messing up too much on the lines and stuff like that of the car. So I think I'm going to take that 302 off. I don't know if this is going to be the end of my video today. But just in case it is, y'all like, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave a post notification. Comment down below what you want to see me do next. Did you like this video? Do you want me to do more videos with this amount of energy? Uh, what more do y'all want to see from my channel? I know I've been gone. I know I don't have that many people subscribed, but for the people who are subscribed, what would y'all like me to do? What do y'all want to see me do with my car? I do have a cold air intake downstairs. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all that. I don't know why, how I forgot. I do have a JLT cold air intake right here to put on the car. I, I ordered it or I got it. Um, not ordered it, I got it from somebody. Back when my car was still in the shop being worked on, so you can see JLT code air intake ready to be put on. I just need a tune. I haven't got a tune for the car yet. So once I get my tune, I will be putting my code air intake on. And I'll bring that video for y'all too. But for right now, it's me and your boy Kurt, and I'm out. I can't settle. Hell no, nah, I'm on my third coup. I just sold this white boy some shit that look like bird poop. Little nigga tried to hang with us, it's past your curfew. Twelve put me over with the packs, my bitch had perfume. It became my brother's.